Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Martin Dreadnought Jr. with Sapili Wood. Uh, I'll tell you all about this guitar after I tell you about how we're recording it today. Um, basically, we're micing it with the Royer R121 mic. That's right around, probably around the 14th fret. Um, that's going into an FG Quartet and into Pro Tools. And along with that, we're using the pickup system that comes with the Junior which is a uh, Fishman Sonitone electronic system. So plugs in right there, and then there's controls up inside of this bout uh, that maybe you can see or maybe you can't, but they're in there. I've just got them turned all the way up and I'm going with that. Um, while we're talking about the pickup system, why don't I give you a taste test right now of the two. So this is just the microphone. Now, this will be just the pickup, the Fishman. So there's your taste test. For the uh, rest of this, we'll be kind of doing a blend of the two. Because the mic sounds great, but it's not an ideal situation for micing it. And uh, the pickup sounds great, but a little bit of help from the, from the mic is a little bit of help. So <laughs> you'll get a blend of the two. So the Dreadnought Junior is a little guitar, like the kind of thing that will fit in a overhead container in a flight, which is great. Very, uh, very cool travel companion. And it's a legit guitar on its own. I mean, it, it's got a cool thing to it. Um, part of it is probably the wood Sapili, which is often a mahogany substitute. So they've built it with a Sapili top, Sapili sides, and a Sapili back. Um, the fretboard is rich light, as is the bridge, which looks kind of ebony-ish, but uh, that's what it is. Um, it's a 24-inch scale, and the action, if you can see, is, is up there. It's not like a really simple, you know, easy Martin to play. And, uh, but it's got a, with that higher action, you're going to get, you know, kind of a more traditional good tone. You kind of have to get it up there a bit to... To really make it ring, you know, it helps the, the uh, action up, but it's not simple to play. So this guitar is Echo in Mexico and comes with a gig bag. So why don't I just play a little bit and you can hear what it sounds like. So when I came in, I was doing that little, tempting that little bluegrass deal. This isn't really made for that, um, but what it does do, it's got a lot of cool voices in it. Kind of a cool, you know, blues guitar. <laughs> So I don't know if it's the Sapili or the design of this Dreadnought, but it is a surprisingly loud guitar. It has a good, good balance, you know, really good strumming thing. A nice balance, you know, it's hard to get that. But 
But notice how the uh, top strings and the bottom strings pretty even. It's a good sign. So very cool little guitar, particularly for, you know, for a traveling songwriter, singer type. We got to deal with overhead containers, uh, storage on a plane and stuff like that. And although not super simple to play, it's got some cool mojo to it. Some, you know, cool bits, you know. cool cool uh cool to have that bass kind of cut really well and the treble balanced so those are the basic details on the martin dreadnought jr in sapili wood to read the full written review go to premierguitar.com and while you're online make sure you like us on facebook subscribe to our huge youtube channel uh, why not uh, subscribe to the hard copy of the magazine, have it sent to your house. And speaking of reading, it's kind of like reading. Check out our podcast. It's like somebody reading to you. This is John Bollinger. Till the next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.